Hello and welcome to this demo video from Device Authority and today we're going to be looking at Keyscaler and its automated certificate provisioning and management solution but specifically we're going to look at how we have taken that core solution and through our extensibility framework have integrated it with the Azure IoT Central application available via Microsoft's cloud services. So what is Azure IoT Central? Well, it really is this turnkey application for connecting IoT devices to the Azure cloud. Its main goal is really to be as simple as possible to consume. So when you create an application instance, you can then begin modeling sort of your IoT device classes and then really easily hook up and connect those devices into that particular application instance to begin receiving, storing, and, and visualizing data from, from those devices. It does come with a customizable UI and a, a dashboard, so you can easily tailor it um, to how you might need it. But fundamentally, under the hood, it really is um, Azure IoT Hub and DPS, and I think a few other services, kind of packaged up into a nice turnkey application. So how do we fit into the Azure IoT Central role? Um, Keyscaler already has a certificate provisioning and management solution. So what we can do then is extend that into the IoT Central application. And this diagram here kind of takes you into the details of how that comes together. So step zero is the secure registration process. And that's really that initial device attestation and handshake between the device and key scaler to make sure that the device is um, authorized to be connected to the system. Following that process, key scaler will actually tell the device that there's a policy in place for it and it needs to submit a certificate signing request. So as step one in this diagram shows, the key will or the device will generate a new key pair and a certificate signing request or PKCS10 and send that back to Keyscaler as part of step two. As part of the policy, we will have a configured certificate authority. So Keyscaler then manages that connection on behalf of the device and will submit the certificate signing request to the CA, as we can see here in step three, to be signed. And once Keyscaler gets that certif signed certificate back, it will then take a look at the policy and understand that there is an IoT central application instance that needs to also be made aware of this device. So step 4A here is, is Keyscaler automating that device registration process with the IoT central application. And once that is completed as part of 4B here, the signed certificate is sent back down to the IoT device and then the mutual TLS connection that you can see at the bottom of this diagram is, is free to take place, knowing that Keyscaler has already automated and taken care of all of that device registration and communication with the IoT Central application. So what really are the features and, and benefits of a solution like this? Well, you know, obviously it, it as a, as a feature set, we are really just extending that core certificate provisioning and management solution into IoT Central. So all the benefits we already have, and I believe we've covered in other videos, for certificate provisioning and management you get with the added use and integration of the Azure IoT Central platform. So we do automatically push certificates to the device and create those devices inside of IoT Central. And of course, this whole process supports certificate provisioning and, and revocation actions too for decommissioning and, and potentially recommissioning. In terms of the benefits, you know, with a turnkey solution like Azure IoT Central, as well as Keyscaler certificate provisioning and management, you get that reduced complexity and time to deployment for these devices that need to connect into IoT Central. So there's a reduced development time, um, reduced kind of deployment time and onboarding time for all of these devices to, to make it into and connect to that, that IoT Central instance. And through that automation comes scalability. So where you're trying to onboard um, numbers of, of IoT devices into that IoT Central application, this process makes it really easy to, to scale that beyond, you know, perhaps what a, a human might be able to achieve um, 
And we also have the increased security, our key scaler registration process and certificate provisioning processes used throughout you know, um, numerous use cases and, and existing customers. And it it's, gives you that additional visibility and security when you are making that initial contact with those IoT devices. Um, so you benefit from that and Keyscaler really being the, the source of truth in this, this whole kind of operation. So with that, let's jump straight into a demo and we'll, we'll see what the integration looks like. Welcome. And today I'm going to show you how Keyscaler can help automate and secure the device onboarding process into an Azure IoT central application. So I have my Keyscaler control panel here and I also have uh, an Azure IoT central application that I've already created. Now we're going to use the Keyscaler Azure IoT central service connector to automatically enroll devices to this IoT central application as soon as they enroll with Keyscaler and, and uh, receive a signed certificate from an appropriate CA. So in Keyscaler, uh, in terms of configuration, what I do have is I have a certificate authority. I've used Keyscaler's private PKI implementation to just create a uh, private uh, certificate authority that I'll use to sign my device certificates. That certificate authority has also been configured inside of my device connection settings within IoT Central. So you can see I have my primary certificate here in, in IoT Central and this matches the CA that I have in Keyscaler. What I also have is a service connector that we can take a look at. And this is what is connecting the Keyscaler system to that particular IoT central application. So we're using the REST APIs to automatically enroll the devices into that, into that application. Uh, so I've just given it a profile name uh, we also have the device template name, so I already have a device template created inside of IoT Central. Um, the application name, so that's the name of the actual IoT Central application. You'll see this matches the name of my, my application up here. A connector ID, which can be anything you want as long as it matches the configuration on the connector side. The token, so this is a shared access signature token that is used to connect programmatically to IoT Central. So if I just come back down into administration and I go to API tokens, I've created one here for my Keyscaler uh, service connector. And the last option just states whether when you enroll the devices using Keyscaler and automate that process, should the device be auto approved? So I'm just gonna set that to true so that everything works uh, without any human intervention. Additionally, in Keyscaler, I have my Keyscaler issued cert policies. So if we just take a look at the demo policy, what I have here uh, is just name. Uh, you can see it's a PKI provisioning. We, are, we do want to automatically provision certificates to the IoT platform, so that option is enabled. And then to do that, we want to choose our service connector that I just showed you. Um, and we've configured for that, that IoT central application. Then the rest of it's pretty straightforward. We want to use our private PKI um, that we've created. Uh, this, we're going to use the MAC address as the common name for these devices and these certificates. Um, we are going to auto rotate. So this means that after one year, uh, the certificate will be auto renewed by, by Keyscale. Um, we do want to generate the key pair and the certificate on the device. So this means that the device itself will provide or do the generation of the keeper and then submit the certificate signing request to Keyscaler where Keyscaler will sign it and then push the signed certificate to IoT Central. And we're just going to apply that to our demo group which is where I'm going to enroll my device. So now I can create a registration control record for my device. So my particular device is a Linux device. I am just going to grab the MAC address as one example. You don't have to use MAC address. 
that you can do. And we're going to call this my device 001. We're going to put it in our demo group where our policy is applied. And as a device name, I'll just call it my device 001. That's fine. Okay. So now we have a pending registration control record. So this is basically authorizing my virtual device to connect into Keyscaler and, and allow it to, to register. So now what I'm going to do on my device itself, I'm going to start. Uh, we have an Azure demo uh, Python script that I'm just going to run here, which takes care of all of the Azure provisioning. Uh, sorry, the communication to Keyscaler. If we go into the Azure IoT central application, you'll see there are no devices currently registered. So if I start this uh, demo, a couple of things are going to take place. So as the first step, we successfully registered with Keyscaler. So if I jump into Keyscaler now, our registration control record has been consumed and closed and if I come to the devices we can see that I have a device. Um, one thing of note is that the certificate status is currently waiting on device so that's waiting for the device to generate and submit the CSR which is the next step in this process. So if I press continue it will basically do the certificate um, signing request generation and submission to Keyscaler and then loop while it waits for Keyscaler to, to sort everything else out. Okay, so we successfully saved our key and, and generated the key pair and submitted the CSR. So if I come back in here, we can see the certificate status is now issued. And that actually means it's already in IoT Central. But let's come back to here just to... Okay, so you can see the device received back the certificate. And it could now use that to connect to the IoT Central application. So if I go over here and I choose, I refresh this page. You can see I now actually have my device and the MAC address matches. Um, the device status is currently only registered though. So it's not actually ever connected to this IoT application before. So if I run the next step in this demo, what it's going to do is it's going to load the certificate that Keyscaler provisioned and then attempt to connect to the Azure DPS, which is kind of underpins the, um, the IoT central application and get itself provisioned and connected. And you can see now that it's got back its assigned Azure IoT hub as well. So that's all the connection information that it needs to connect to that application. And you see there's some updates here. So if I press refresh, my device status is now provisioned.